that. Okay. Okay. How is everyone? Good to be here with you. Hi, Chris. Nice to see you, bright and breezy, over there in the states. I uh, hope you got a little bit of sleep in between. Uh, what have I got for you today? As always, uh, a seven-day recap of what's been going on on the last seven days uh, in on passive. Obviously, uh, this is from a user attend, um, affiliate point of view. What we this side of the fence see looking towards on passive obviously uh this is nothing to do with what is going on behind the doors of corporate on passive this is just an update of what we see from our end to make sure that you guys are fully up to date on a weekly basis so that you are not getting left behind and all your devices are up to date with the versions that they should be so let's go back then to the first of may watch which is seven days away and on the first of may wednesday uh we had on passive 360 once again with myself marty and chris uh the write-up from our quartet of dan darrell janet and peter uh, were put up very quickly in the o founders back office with what we went over and also the recording of that if somebody missed it was available on many of the YouTube channels as well. That all happened on Wednesday, the 1st of May. Tuesday, the 2nd of May then, what happened on this day, as far as on passive was concerned, we had an update to your OES Android devices, and that is Google Play. And you should now be on version 1.0.4.10. Uh, that is on Android, guys, okay? Also, on uh, Thursday, we had a brand new website uh, that came out. And if you remember, it was uh, back to the original kind of colorings, which was the dark blues, light blues, yellows and whites. Again, <clears throat> with that website, very much focused on the business end of what on passive is all about how on passive can help your business how on passive is using ai technology to help to produce web pages etc and what all this can do as far as a business is concerned if the, you wanted that that is available or it will be available in your ecosystem under the my links section at the moment, we are on uh, link number 68. Just checking for you now. Uh, in fact, that has already been updated. So we now have link number 69 uh, in your back office. So they already have updated uh, that for you. Uh, so last week's website is now available in your ecosystem uh, for you to use. Uh, what happened, Elsen, uh, on Friday, the 3rd of May, we had an update of our OES uh, app on Apple. And that is now, or it was on Friday, 1.0.13. Now then, this only was there for one day, guys, because uh, again, later on, on Friday, we had another update for our OES on apple devices so your current version is 1.0.14 now if you want to check on either devices android or on uh, apple it's very easy you open up your app device okay and click on the three lines in the top left hand corner that brings you up the drop down menu but right at the top it says on passive now to the right of on passive it will have a v and the numbers that is version, guys. So you should be looking for 1.0.4.10 if you're on uh, Android device and 1.0.14 if you are on Apple devices. Uh, that was on Friday then. Saturday and Sunday over the weekend uh, was a pretty quiet uh, as far as what we have been seeing. But as Marty has said, a lot of videos and um shorts have been coming out of on passive at the moment you can check this out very easily uh, if you go to facebook to the official site they post them on there they also post them on instagram and also on x they are coming out thick and fast at the moment uh, if you've noticed a lot of emphasis is being put on o net at the moment 
Now, whether this is on purpose, uh, because we know, because uh, we were told by our CEO that what we have at the moment in our ecosystem, so that is O-Mail, O-Net and O-Trim on those three versions, these are all going to get refurbed. Now, maybe uh, having more information about O-Net is part and parcel of that. Don't forget, uh, on passive has been extremely good at drip feeding uh, us and users of what to take uh, notice of, what to look at that is going to be coming. So maybe that is imminent that that will be happening uh, for us. But a lot about O-Net, I've noticed that. Monday, the 6th of May came around then. OK, and the big news on Monday, which came again through the official channels on social media of on passive, was that we were attending the I can seminar over in Paris. Now, this is one of the accreditors that we have been associated with. I can are basically the nonprofit organization that help to promote the uh, identifiers of the internet. Now, what is an identifier? In basic speak is your IP address. Every single device that accesses the internet has an IP address. There's billions of them, guys. Absolutely billions of billions of them. ICANN is the company that basically document all of these IP, uh, IP addresses. They monitor it. They try and make sure it's a secure environment for all of us to be involved in. Now, to be accredited to ICANN is a big feather in any company's hat. And I and on passive are over there at their seminar. Why? To learn, guys, to understand more about what ICANN can do for us, but also for us to maybe help ICANN in the future with some of our products and services that might be of use to them. It's also a very big integral part of what O-Tracker is going to do. Why? Because O-Tracker works off people's IP addresses. It gives us an awful lot of information where they're located, what browser they're using, how long they're online for. All these types of information we use because of that digital identifier that people are using online. So we're at that seminar. It's a four day seminar from the 6th of May in Paris to the 9th of May. And we are very proud to be part of that. So that was great news on Monday. Tuesday, the 7th then, what happened on Tuesday the 7th? We had a notification of, as Marty has said, of O Domain having its own standalone website, odomain.com. Uh, you can go and check it out. There is a really cool front page to that saying uh, that we have got a new uh, domain uh, coming, great things coming soon, upcoming developments and exciting big changes are coming to the internet. This is all through O Domain. Now, O Domain is going to be very much like onpassive.com, a standalone website where people will be able to access this, like going to GoDaddy or any other domain area. If they want to buy a domain name, they can go directly to that without having to go through the ecosystem. But that this does not mean that we will not be able to monetize O Domain. Of course, we will get our own links to it. We'll be able to link into it. And if people come to our website to register a domain name, guess what? Again, it's one of our products that we will have purchased that we will then make a commission on. It's another added extra. And as uh, we were talking earlier before we came on here, whether this is beneficial to us individually or whether this is beneficial to the company as a whole, all roads lead to Rome. And that means that we will benefit from it either way that it happens. These people might come in through O Domain and go into that pool of on passive that then get divvied out to the founders or we get these people ourselves. It really doesn't matter. But again, it's an another thing. And for that to be put out to us now, uh, as a website to the general public with all of the correct um, 
web uh, social media links to it etc means in my opinion that is very very close they would not have put it out if you remember back to what our ceo had said many many times of the lessons that he has learned over the period of five years or more and that is not to bring to the table something that is not going to be there very very shortly this for me is an indicator that that is going to be happening very shortly and it is in my opinion a big big news also on tuesday the 7th we saw in again a very good blog coming from o media you can check this out at omedia.ai or on their facebook uh, o media as well the official one and this is the rise of generated visuals of AI from images to animation. Why is that a big deal? Why am I pointing this out? A, it's a fantastic read. And as Marty was saying earlier about your business, the more information that you can get from it, the more knowledge you can gain is going to be beneficial for you in so many ways when you are talking about on passive the business of your own business. The more knowledge base that you have, the better you'll be able to explain it to people. Go and have a look at it. Go and read it because it will certainly enlighten you to how AI is now taking flat basic images and then regenerating them to something that moves. So much so that the actual video that they have used to advertise this blog, guess what, guys? It was a visual um, image to start with. It's been digitized so that it now moves. Absolutely amazing. Go and have a look at that. It is fantastic. And here we are, guys, round once again to Wednesday the 8th. I shall recap Wednesday the 8th in a week's time when we do our next 360. That's it from me. Back to you, Chris.